Hey, Scott's a student. Uh, we're so glad that you've decided to join us as we continue to walk through the book of James. Uh, we're now, believe it or not, in our sixth session. We're in our sixth uh, Devo uh, in the book of James, and today we're going to talk about words. We're going to talk about the power that words have and how they have the power to either build people up or to tear them down, how they have the power to either praise God or to curse people. Uh, and we want to challenge you as we walk through this book uh, to think about your words, to think about the power that they have, uh, and to use them wisely. When I was younger, my mother used to have this phrase that she would tell us. She would say, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. And the reason that my mother would tell us this is because she knew that even at a young age, my words held weight. And though they seemed insignificant to me, she knew and she was teaching us that they had power. And we see that James is teaching us the same lesson uh, in James chapter 3. He compares our words uh, to small things that control and have effect on bigger things. We see in, the, in verse 3 of chapter 3, if we put bits into the mouths of horses so that they will obey us, we guide their whole bodies as well. Look at the ships also. Though they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are guided by a very small rudder wherever the will of the pilot directs. So also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great things. The lesson that James is teaching in these couple of verses is that while our words, they seem small and they seem as though they have no effect on the larger scope of things, they actually hold a lot of weight uh, in the direction uh, of our conversation and our attitudes. They can control whether or not we're building people up or we're tearing them down. To other people, they seem much larger than to us. They seem insignificant, but in fact, they hold a lot of power. And the other lesson that we see in James chapter 3 is that James talks about uh, believers and he talks about people who use their tongues and their words uh, to, to praise God, but then to also curse people. Uh, we see in verse 8, he says, But no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. With it, we bless our Lord and the Father, and with it, we curse people who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers, these things ought not to be so. And while the Bible can be confusing and it can be hard to understand sometimes, normally when the Bible says something is wrong outright, that thing is normally wrong. And James is saying that it's not okay that we use our tongue and we use our words to both praise God and bless him in a church like here, or even online when we're watching and we're, we're commenting on things, we use things, uh, our words to say nice things to people, but then we also use them to tear people down. And James is saying that that's not okay. God's word is saying that that's not right. And so in this time where you're, you're online a lot, you're commenting and you're texting your friends and your small groups, uh, we have a tendency where we can say rude things or we can pick on people or we can say things that would tear them down. Um, but I ask and I challenge uh, you students as you're online in this time a lot more than you normally would be and you're texting a lot more people, take the advantage that, that an online gives you to step back and to think before you send or you type something and do what James is telling us in this passage to not do both, to not praise God and to curse people, uh, but to simply praise God and to use your words to challenge, encourage, and love those around you. Uh, we love you guys, and we're so glad that you've been tuning in with us, and we want to encourage you to continue to join us uh, as we walk through the book of James. Uh, thank you so much uh, for your time. Uh, we love you guys, and continue to uh, wash your hands. Wash your, wash your, wash your, wash your hands. Wash your hands.